Good afternoon. I'm Zahir Abbas, I'm a physician and associate trainee. Can I confirm your full name and date of birth, please? Sarah Smith, first section of the Hospital. Thank you, Sarah. Um, Sarah, I understand you've come in because you are contemplating uh, going on the Confederate Combined Pill, is that correct? Yes. And um, so the purpose of today's consultation really is to make sure that uh, you are actually able to take it physically from a from a health standpoint. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of you know, I just want to be sure that you're able to safely do so. Is that okay? Um, so, what's your understanding of the the, the, the combined pill? Don't really have any. Okay. Okay. And where did the idea come from? Friends. Okay. Fine. So you've got some friends who take it and probably a very convenient thing isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, you know. and, and how long are you um, hoping to achieve contraception for? For as long as I can think. No. Okay, so there's no kind of, you're not looking to uh, conceive in the next six no. months or something no. like that. Okay. Uh, would you do it, Sarah? I'm still doing Okay, very good, very good. Fine, you know. um, and and um, if, if, you might, if, if you don't mind me asking that, and I'm going to ask you a few questions, they can be a little bit intrusive, a little bit personal. I do apologize on your upset. Um, it will be around your cycle and, and a little bit around your sexual activities. If you prefer, we can have a chaperone in the room. Would you like a chaperone in the room? Thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, if I might begin with uh, a little bit about your cycles, I just want to understand, uh, are you have, uh, do you have regular cycles? Yeah. Okay, and uh, the, the blood volume, is that normal? Is it heavy or light? Just normal. Just average normal. And the duration, are they all seven days long? Every 28 days you have your... And any pain or discomfort at all? Not really. And you're, and you're well in yourself otherwise, are you fit and well, no medical problems, conditions otherwise. Um, and and um, what's, what was the uh, was the kind of the instigation of the decision come from? Started seeing someone. Okay, okay, very nice, well done, very nice, good, it's, you know, happy days. And how long have you been seeing your uh, partner? Yes. Lovely, lovely. And, and, and their name? Um, Tom. Tom, lovely, very nice. And um, is this, again, pardon me for asking, but is this a... A monogamous relationship, and and again, Tom is just seeing you as well and nobody else. Lovely. And uh, again, uh, I do apologise, but you you are practising safe sex, I suppose. What have you been using so far? Um, just condoms, yeah. barriers, yeah, switch. Um, now with, with with the pill, the thing is, a lot of people think that you can actually uh, kind of get rid of the condom, and, and the only purpose of the, the, the condom is for some sort of physical barrier. The reality is. It is a physical barrier to contraception, but if I may please very politely remind you that it's also a physical barrier to, to um, STIs, okay? Um, the pill does not does not protect you from STIs, okay? So please, please just be mindful of that and, and continue the practices that you are as your own. Um, now, I'm, I'm going to um, ask if, um, you, you, what we're going to do is I'm going to need to um, take a few bits and bobs and in terms of the investigation and management. But do you suffer from any headaches or migraines or mm. uh, no migraines? Mm. Any blood pressure issues? Mm. 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 Lovely. Uh, and have you had any clots in the past? Mm. And have uh, any of your parents, either of your parents, have had any uh, strokes or heart attacks? No. And do you have any liver issues at all? Fine, you know. Uh, I can see you, you look after yourself in the gym, and, and what we are going to do is we're going to calculate your BMI. So I will take you and measure your height and take you away to calculate the BMI just to be sure, but otherwise, I mean, from what I can see, I don't see that being too much of an issue. Are you quite disciplined? Yeah. Yeah, good, good. Um, so the, the, the reason I ask that is because um, with this uh, pill, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a 28-day uh, package in a calendar pack. So you will actually have 28 pills, uh, a month supply every time. So all you are going to do is take a pill every day at the same time. And in doing so, so what you'll find is you'll have 21 days, three weeks of an actual pill. The other seven days, you will take a pill as normal, but set that seven days, you will actually experience a period that enables this, what's called a false period. It will kind of help you to understand that your cycle is still working and everything is working as it should be. But the, the, the seven days where you do get that cycle, that pill is actually more a placebo. It's purely uh, just to keep you in rhythm and everything else. Um, but so, and say ask the weather discipline. Um, if you feel you need to, you can always put an app on your, your phone uh, to remind you or something of that nature. Uh, usually I say to patients, take it in the morning because then it's kind of out of the way. But if you prefer to take it while feeding the night, then of course there's a the option as well. But if you want to 
go out and party for example on the weekend given that you're not really uh, making the money it's probably going to scare you that when you go out on the weekend or something at least you're not covered by, by that and you know, many drinking perhaps okay um when, when it comes to miss miss doses um there, there's some real technical bits and bobs around that you miss the first dose uh just to, if you miss one just take it you know remember, remember if you miss two doses again um what to do in, in, in your miss doses what to do is just give us a call as to what to do and when to do. Okay. Um, if you go on antibiotics with, with the uh, with the pill as well, again, just be mindful um, for any reason whatsoever, you want to use added protection, um, certainly for seven days, okay, during, and, and, uh, during the course of the antibiotics and seven days after, because it does reduce the efficacy of the actual pill. Okay. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is some risks associated with the, uh, the pill. Um, you will get some irritation to your, your gut, so you may experience some diarrhea or, or increased bowel motion. Uh, that usually is short lived. Uh, you may well experience some acne on your skin, okay, so just be mindful of that. Uh, and there's always a higher risk of clots, okay. Uh, if you get in contact with COVID, I would absolutely advise you not to go for the AstraZeneca uh, vaccine at this moment in time, unless obviously nature approves itself to be safe enough to do so. Um, there's always a bit of a risk of, of increased risk of developing uh, two types of cancer, that's cervical and breast cancer, okay, unfortunately you risk uh, part of it. Um, the advantages, however, and again, th this doesn't necessarily apply to you, but um, it regulates your cycles, it reduces the amount of blood, and, and there's no pain either, if, if you are suffering from those, then that will help with that. But more importantly, in your situation, um, the, the, the advantage is it has a protective mechanism of some cancers, it actually re reduces the incidence and that's endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, and colon and rectal cancer. Okay. Um, Sarah, do you have any questions for me? Uh, what I was going to, what the last thing I wanted to ask is, um, are you happy in your relationship? Lovely. How old is Tom? Oh, very nice. Student as well? Oh, fantastic. So, uh, and, and the decision that you, you made uh, regarding going on the pill, was this so the yours? Was it Tom's? Was it between you? Together. Together. And you weren't at all pressured in any way. And, and again, pardon me for asking, I'm not at all suggesting anything. But uh, excellent, wonderful. Uh, Sarah, do you have any questions for me? Amazing. So, like I say, what we'll do is we'll measure your blood pressure, uh, we'll measure your height and your weight, and uh, I'll, I'll be sure that uh, everything is in place and we'll get a prescription made for you. Okay. Amazing. Thank you for your time, and uh, I'll be right back.